but to live up to those past performances, it's going to be hard. And this will be a tough test, Tim. Many would prefer to hide the balance beam, but to open the competition on this event, this is a big test. Current world champion here, though. Very nice. She has certainly grown from the little girl that was second all round in Barcelona. Already just a slight balance break on a very new skill for Shannon. Good girl, all right. Good fight. Set her set, setting up now for her tumbling element in combination. Four skills in a row. Two layouts and a third. Wow. That is, that is a disaster right there. Fall off the beam, five tenths of a point. Automatic deduction. Had a girl, nice one. Beautiful. Steve Nuno, her coach in the background. The world is just a little bit out of control, I'm sure. In Straight both up. of these people's Bring it heads. Up call. This dismount's been giving Shannon a lot of problems in the training. Just the landing, hey, perfectly girl. done. All right, out of fight it. Okay, out of fight it, baby. Well, she right. did recover her composure it. enough to stick the landing, but look at uh, her face. She knows that that might have been the, the competition time. with right. that one fall. Four elements, starting with a back handspring into three layouts. You can imagine the shoulders and hips have to be absolutely in line with the beam. She totally missed the right foot. Absolutely no chance of holding on to that skill. Only 9.375 on the balance beam, and that will take Shannon Miller out of first place. Mociano, the new leader, Phelps second, Miller all the way down to third. Dominique Dawes has moved up a spot to number five. She's a gift, really, this little girl. This gift arrives at a time when it seems gymnastics has lost its little girls. Maybe, just maybe, this little gift will give us what Nadia gave us. And maybe Nadia senses that too. They share Bella Caroli, the man who makes little girls' dreams come true. After Barcelona, he retreated to his ranch, built a lake with his own hands. Maybe the water would wash away his anger and bitterness. He believed his beloved Kimbo should have been Olympic champion. But here she sits, three years later, Staring at that lake, thinking of what might have been. The Olympics should never be a nightmare. But it's all made up of moments. So two years after the Olympics, Kim Zemeskel returned to the camp of her childhood dreams. She asked Bella to change the nightmare back into a dream. So side by side they trained, one a veteran with the scars to prove it, the other an innocent whose own Olympic story is about to unfold. It's fun, you know, the competitions, people clapping, cheering for you, and I'm all, you know, excited and happy to be there. And in one autograph session, which uh, we held as a send out of 92 Olympic game uh, team, there she comes, Dominic Mociano. And when the little paper of the people get to her, she signs, Dominic Mociano, Olympic all around champion, Atlanta 96, for sure. Well, I was only 10, and you know, I went to my first exhibition, and 
And I didn't know any better, but, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're going to go to the Olympics? I was like, hope so, yeah. And so I wrote 96 Olympics <laughs> for sure. <laughs> She wants to do it the way Mary Lou did. Bella trains his little tiger the same way he trained Mary Lou. The same way he trained Nadia. 20 years ago, thousands of miles away in Romania. Dominique is the leader, perhaps tonight realizing that great potential and Bella had said they didn't want her to have too much success too early, wanted to bring her along slowly and the comparisons to Nadia Comaneci are many and valid. And Dominique loves the comparisons that have been made to Nadia. She finds it a great compliment calls Nadia regularly for advice on her gymnastics. Good. It's a great event for Dominique. Does some huge gymnastics elements. All the way out. Good. Hello. She just floats Good. this release move. Yeah. Watch. Whoa. Very nice. Not just one, but here comes the second release skill. Yes. Great job in choreographing this whole routine. The first half looked absolutely huge, and she'll cap it off with a big dismount double layout. <laughs> one of her most improved events. You know, she may only be four foot five. But she just explodes on this apparatus. Take a look at the dismount. It was huge. Double layout, well above the high bar. Lots of air time there. Perfect form and just plants it. That 70 pounds never wavered on the landing. She stuck for a 9.825. Now Dominique Dawes. After the compulsory is in sixth place and beginning her climb up the standings. Defending all-round champion. You know, Tom, not as crisp as we've seen Dominique on this event. One of her strongest events just wasn't as explosive. Of course, she has a nagging injury to her wrist. Doesn't really get the push off the horse that we're used to seeing. As a result, has some stumbles on the landing. Well, you know, you're right, Elfie. When you're hurt, injured, vaulting, it's the most difficult event. You really can't generate that power that you need to do that great vault. Here's Shannon's vault. Well, she went for the more difficult vault, a higher start value, but then was forced to take an extra step, so that's a deduction. All right. Much more difficult because she does not do that round off onto the board. Can't generate quite as much power on this. Step on the landing. But because it's more difficult, this is going to get a bigger score, and it does, 9.95. And that brings a, a rare smile to Shannon's face. There haven't been many after that fall on the balance beam. And that is where the leader, Dominique Mociano, is now. With